I'm Molly Hudson with 3 News Now. An electronic tracking device that law enforcement agencies are using to bring peace of mind to families and caregivers of individuals at risk of wandering. I spoke to the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office about their implementation of Project Lifesaver. A small white device with a big mission. It gives a sense of uh, peace to the family knowing that there is a little bit of a safety net there if uh, their loved one was to, to get out of a house or wherever they were at. It's called Project Lifesaver. It's a national project created to bring loved ones at risk of wandering, like those with autism, Alzheimer's, or other types of dementia, home. If somebody's been gone over 24 hours, uh, statistically, um, they could be uh, injured or dead. Uh, to a much higher degree, so the quicker we can get there with the equipment and find somebody, the safer it is for that person. There are 85 devices in service in Sarpy County. Each band has a radio frequency unique to the individual. It has a two-mile range, allowing law enforcement to pinpoint the location quickly once notified. By pointing the receiver, you know, in a direction, you're able to get a directional signal, but we have multiple receivers out with multiple teams, and you triangulate and find the person that way. Captain Greiger says the device requires those in the program to be living with family or a caregiver. And then I, as the caregiver, would every day go and put the black box against there. It's going to show me a red dot showing me that, yes, this is indeed working. It's, it's given off the signal that it's supposed to. If your loved one goes missing, all you have to do is contact law enforcement. They will then search their database. Well, Molly's frequency is 216. Point one, two, three, you tune in your receiver just like you do on your car to a you know KGOR or whatever it is, and that's how you find that signal that's beeping. 30 minutes. That's the goal for all agencies to track down the person who wandered away. Uh, we have a cooperation agreement that everybody that's trained goes and helps. So there's about 30 different officers that would go, um, and we would start the search immediately. Deputies change the batteries every 60 days building connections as well. They would see a deputy or a policeman, they would know it's okay to go up to that person and, and get help. In Sarpy County, Molly Hudson,